Hi there, Simon from simonwoods.com. Uh, wine today is Champagne Tieno uh, Edition Limite Brut Rosé. I don't know uh, what's uh, limited about it, but uh, uh, it's a uh, non-vintage wine. Uh, doesn't have any details of uh, what the grapes are on the back, but uh, it will have red grapes in if it's going to be a pink wine. It's not all that pink. It's got it's salmon pink, I may, maybe, is the colour there. Anyway, I'll give it a sniff. Fresh apple, little bit of um, raspberry, maybe even a bit of cherry in there, but it's more those crisp citrusy, um, citrus and apple uh, flavours that, that come to the fore. Uh, it's, it's, it's always funny when you're tasting wines, uh, pink champagne, how swayed you are by the colour in detecting those red fruit flavours and also being swayed by what it says on the back, Morello, cherries and blackcurrant. Maybe I do get a little bit of the blackcurrant there coming through, but it's this slightly leafy blackcurrant freshness, almost a Cabernet Franc-like freshness, if you want to call it that. And I'd say that, you could, yeah, you can still get some of those Certainly that black currant. I've, I've auto suggestion now. I've, um, uh, but yeah, um, some of that black currant and uh, uh, yeah, the, the, the edge of cherry, but still the citrus and apple uh, character going on too. It um, it feels like yeah, it is it, this young, slightly yeasty. Um, there's a creamy edge to it. I, I wouldn't say it was hugely complex, uh, but um, very hard to dislike. Uh, lots of um, lots of freshness there. Uh, quite a weight of flavour. Um, maybe a little bit simple, but um, I would hoover up at least a second glass of that and uh, maybe the third was proffered. It would depend what I was doing later on, but uh, I might just accept it. See you soon.